Chelsea Gabbard joins us tonight, and we're happy that she is. Chelsea Gabbard, thank you so much uh, for coming on. <laughs> that was quite a statement. I'm listening to this, and I'm thinking, I, I, you know, we have Republicans on the show from time to time. They don't put it as clearly and bravely as you do. So how do you feel? I mean, you've been in this party a long time. You were its future. You left. I mean, this has got to be kind of a fraught moment for you. You know, Tucker, as, all, as, as you know, I've, I've always been an independent-minded person, a Democrat, yes, but an independent Democrat. And my loyalties are very clear. I love our country. And I took an oath, both as a service member, as a soldier, as well as as a member of Congress, to support and defend the Constitution. And that's an oath that I take extremely seriously. And so when you look at this party, the, the today's Democratic Party, it's controlled by fanatical ideologues who hate freedom. They despise yes. the Constitution. They actively find ways to undermine our God-given rights enshrined in the Constitution, like freedom of speech. If you say something and I say something that they don't like, instead of saying, you know what, agree to disagree, live and let live in the traditional liberalist kind of way, no. That's not good enough. They will do all that they can to destroy you, silence you, smear you, work with big tech, work with corporate media to actively destroy anyone who dares to even question their agenda. They are against freedom of religion. They are hostile towards people of faith, people who have their own spiritual practice, especially Christians, finding ways to uh, be vindictive, to discriminate, to punish people who happen to exercise that freedom of religion. The list goes on and on, but the foundation of freedom is really what was at the heart of my making this decision, that I cannot be a member of a party that is against freedom and actively trying to undermine it. Well, it was inspiring to hear that, but also disappointing. I mean, I feel like printing out your words and asking every Republican candidate who comes on this show to read them. And if you can't read them, I'm not voting for you. Right? I mean, why is it so hard yeah. to say out loud? First of all, the people are always talking about racism or committing it. Why is that so hard for people to acknowledge? It's so obvious. It, it speaks to the whole environment of fear that those in power, these elitists in power, have fomented to where people are afraid to speak the truth. They're afraid to exercise their right to free speech because, hey, you might lose your job. You might be canceled. You might be trashed. And God forbid in Washington, you might not be invited to the cool kids parties. You might not be as popular. And, and this is really what it comes comes down to is rather than taking a stand for peace, for prosperity, security, and freedom of the American people, we have too many people in Washington who are warmongers, subservient to the military industrial complex, and continuing to put their own selfish interests or the interests of their donors first, with no mind for the cost and consequence that their decisions have on the American people. This is exactly what we're seeing right now with President Biden and leaders in Congress whose decisions are actively pushing us to the brink of a nuclear holocaust, of which they may have their bunkers where they'll be safe, but we, the American people, will have no shelter, no place to go, uh, no place to hide, and face the consequences that could destroy all of humanity and the world as we know it. You were the first person I heard say that back in February when this all started. I, I believed That's why you. why I ran and for it, president. Well, it turns out you were absolutely right. Really quick, since you did serve for so many years in the Congress, in the party you just left, you know everybody, of course. Has anyone called you today, your former colleagues, Democrats, to say anything to you? Uh, one. One got in touch with me and sent me a text message with three thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to know who that is, but I, I'm glad you're influencing people. Tulsi Gabbard, I'm not going to ask you what you're doing next. We will all watch, but I hope you'll come back on the show soon. Thank you. I look forward to it. Thanks, Tucker. Thank you. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. From Tucker Carlson tonight.